when was the last time you went out and hailed a cab? To go to a party or to meet a friend or when your car broke down? I guess it has been a while, right? Uber is the choice of transport nowadays. But hey, what if I told you that you can make your own Uber app without learning how to code? Hey guys, I'm Raka from Team Apple Bar and today in this tutorial I'm going to tell you how you can build your own taxi booking app like Uber. The taxi feature is a bifunctional service that allows you to add all your cabs and drivers bringing your taxi business to mobile. Let's see how it's done. Go to our no code app building platform. If you have already created an app, log into your account and go to manage and edit to add the taxi page to your app. If you have not created an app yet, click on get started to build your app. Here, we'll show you how you can add the taxi page to your app. First, enter your business name here and click on next. Then, enter the purpose of your app and click on next. Based on the app purpose you mentioned, the system will add certain pages to your app. Now, click on save and continue to finish creating your app. If you see that the taxi page is already added to your app, click on it. If not, click on view all, search for taxi and click on the page to add it. Existing app users can add the taxi page into their app exactly the same way. Now let's take a look at all that you can do with the newly added taxi page. This is your page name. If you want, you can change it to what you would like. From here, you can change the page icon. If you want, you can select a solid icon, an outline icon, an image from our library or add your own custom icon image. You can even upload two different images for the mobile app and the website. Click on save and continue. You will be redirected to your dashboard. Go to my apps and then scroll down and click on taxi service option to your app. You will be redirected to taxi dashboard. Here you can see your total revenue of the day, total revenue of last 7 days, total revenue of last 30 days and total revenue of last 1 year. Under the cities tab, you can manage the country, state and city. Click on manage country and select the country you desire. You can search it in the search box. You can click edit and change the name as well. Now go to manage state. From here you can search your desired state. To add new states click here. Now enter the state name and select the country. Once you are finished click on add to continue. Click on manage city. From here you can search your desired city. Click on add new city to add multiple cities. Select the country here. Choose the state and enter the city name. Once done, click on save to continue. On the dashboard, you will see a new city has been added. From here, you can change the city settings. Next comes company. Under here, click on new and then click on add new company in the right hand corner. Enter all the necessary information and then click add. You will see the newly added company on the list. You can click the edit icon if you want to edit the information. Under the accepted and rejected tabs, all the companies that are either accepted or rejected will show up and you can accept or reject them there. You can also suspend if you would like. Next click on vehicle type. Click on vehicle type fare add new vehicle type fare and then enter in all the necessary information and click add when finished. It should show up on the list. You can click the edit icon to edit if you would like. Next click on vehicle type. From here you can enable or disable. Click on vehicle manufacturer and from here you can edit or add manufacturers. Under vehicle model you can add new models. Choose the manufacturer from your list 
and then enter the model name you want to add and click add. Under the vehicle tab, click on new here, you can add a new vehicle. Under accepted and rejected, you can see all the vehicles in each category. Click on driver and then new and enter all the necessary information to add a new driver. Go to configuration settings and enter the PubNet Publish and subscribe key. Click on the information icon for step-by-step -step instructions on how to get these. Click save and next. Enter in the payment settings you desire. Click on the information icons for step-by-step -step instructions for this drive option. Under Google Map settings, copy and paste the API keys for Android and iOS. Click on the information icons for instructions on how to obtain these. Enter the rest of the information and click on Save and Next. Under App Settings, enter the desired information. Click Save and Finish. Click on the dashboard at the top. Here, you are able to see your revenue. You can change the dates here and click Search to see other revenues. If you like this edition, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content every week.